Hi everyone, so today's tutorial is going to be about QuickQ. I mean, if you're using this, uh, I'm sure one of the questions that I hear the most is being asked is how to stop any of the effects that's running in the, in the QuickQ. So here's an example. You have uh, a two-step queue stack. So you run, uh, you run the... You run this playback okay and you can see it's running an effect so dimmer effect is running so next uh, if we go in uh, we can go to the next queue so we have this queue okay so the question is asked the most is how do you stop an effect on this queue let's say i want to stop it and i want to make it to run 50 percent intensity for example i want a static look instead of an effect so, and this is how you can actually stop this, uh, uh, stop this effect. All you have to do is, when you run this effect, you have to select the lights that are used in this effect, okay? So, after that, you go to the relevant attribute, so in my case it's a dimmer, and then I go into the effects window, and here, a lot of people think if they select no effect, it will help them. No, it won't. Because the problem is, right now, there is no like a stomp effect uh, function here. So what you have to do instead, you have to select any of the dimmer effects. Let's say I'm going to select a normal choose dim uh, dimmer chase. And all you have to do is, is to reduce the size of the effect to zero, complete zero. Okay, so after you've done that, now you can go to your intensity and for example you can set your intensity levels to let's say 50 percent after you've done that you can double click your queue stack you can see this is i'm in a q1 and i want to merge that data over here you'll press record show options merge and then you click on that playback okay press clear now if you go back, you see there's no effect here and you can continue to the next queue. Okay, it works the same way with anything else. So for example, if I'm going to create third queue where I'm going to select the lights at full and I'm going to run, let's say, a position effect. Let's say I'm running some position effect from center. Okay, and now uh, for example, I'm going to post uh, this in a new color and I'm going to record this as my third queue here. Okay, so now if I run my queue stack, press go, next queue, go, next queue. So now you can see it's running some uh, dimmer uh, uh, position effect. What I wanted, I want to stop that dimmer, uh, the position effect, circle effect, and I wanted to set to some certain position. Okay, so static loop. In order to achieve that, I will have to select my lights. So, sorry, I will just select the, the lights I'm using. Okay, I go to position window, go to an effect. I can select any of the position, let's say circle. And I'm going to reduce the size to go to zero. This is currently the base point that comes as an LTP value from the Q2. But I can always go to the position window. Set my looks to wherever I want. I can fan them if I want to. Okay. And now I want to merge the data. So I will press record. Show options. Merge. Click on the Q number three. Press clear. So now we can go back again, restart the playback. So Q1, Q2, and Q3. I hope that was useful. And But again, I'm using version 9.0.1, and that method should be working in the version 8, 8.5, I guess, as well. So that's all for today. I hope it was useful. And that question is answered here today. Thank you. Have a good day. Bye-bye.